Hey everybody, it's Lee here. Welcome to another troubleshooting video. Um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to and address a specific problem with the most recent update of Adobe Flash Player. And the problem specifically is with uh, Windows Vista and also uh, a version of uh, Windows Server as well. But most uh, this video will mostly apply to the Windows Vista users. Um, so recently there was a flash player update so you would have noticed a little toolbar that comes along the top of your browser and basically pesters you to update your Adobe flash player. Um, so then what you probably would have done is clicked on this uh, the link um, and you would have been taken to the Adobe flash player download center which looks like this page here. Um, you would have probably skipped the optional offer, um, went to install and then that would have downloaded to your computer. Um, you would have then ended up with a flash player installed or something like this or but the problem is uh, once you click on it, upon it um, it doesn't do anything um, so then you might have gone back to the flash player download center and tried to download the actual full version rather than the automatic downloader um, which would give you this file and um, that doesn't run either um, and there was another version of it as well but Basically, none of these downloads work. They're just downloaded, but they won't actually fire from Windows Vista. They just don't do anything. Um, so I've done some uh, digging around and found out the uh, cause of the problem. Um, this is basically a whole troubleshooting guide for all the different reasons why it won't work. And it was actually this bottom one here. Um, I had the same problem on a previous computer that was also running uh, Windows Vista. Um, so the problem is because caused by a certificate error, which is a specific issue to do with uh, Windows Vista, and you also get it on Windows Server 2008. Um, you'll probably most likely get this if you're not running um, automatic updates, um, which is true for me on both of these uh, machines. Um, so what you need to do is, I'll put a link in the description, but in my case, I've already got the window opened up. So we go across to Microsoft, and they've basically issued a hot fix for it. Um, I need this one here, which is uh, the 32, for the 32-bit versions of uh, Vista. If you've run in a 64-bit version of Vista, you'll need uh, this one here. Um, so yeah, just double check and make sure you download the, the right one. So the x86 is for 32-bit versions of Vista and the x64 is for 64-bit versions. Um, so I'm just going to download and update this now. I think I'll need to do a restart afterwards. Just need to scroll down here. Um, I'm just going to open it immediately rather than saving it. And we've got another issue. Let's just see if I can... Um, let's just try that again. Um, I'll just try and save it this time. Hey everyone, so just continuing on. So if you... Uh, double click and run the hotfix that was downloaded from the Microsoft uh, knowledge base um, that will install and then you just need to restart your computer uh, once you get back in or after you've actually restarted your uh, computer then you'll be able to run the Adobe flash updates that's in your downloads folder um, I can't actually show you this process because uh, when I uh, launch the hotfix, I run into a secondary problem um, which is sort of beyond the bounds of this particular sort of uh, video um, so I'll make a separate video for my own sort of problems um, but this is the uh, solution that I used on another machine and it worked perfectly um, but unfortunately it doesn't actually work on this machine um, so yeah like I say just uh, uh, run that hotfix, restart your computer and then you should be able to install the flash um, update uh, thanks for watching guys and hopefully I'll share more tips and tricks with you soon um, if you've got any additional uh, comments or feedback for me, then please leave those in the comments box below. Thanks for watching. Bye.